Sparks flew again in Canberra today over the power crisis threatening to hit hard this summer right across the country. The government is committed to coal, but it's not getting the support it wants from Australia's biggest generator. Phoebe Bowden reports. On the brink of power failure, not just in homes and businesses. AGL are the biggest hypocrites walking in this, around in this country. They are saying on the one hand they're going to get out of coal, and on the other they're actually the biggest coal-fired power generator owners in the country. The Prime Minister's push to keep the Liddell coal power station open to secure supply was dismissed by owners AGL. I worked there in 1974. I went to Liddell Power Station. It was only two years old then, and it was dirty, polluting and filthy then. The closure of Liddell in 2022 is tipped to put prices up and increase the risk of blackouts in New South Wales. That's the forecast for Victoria this summer after the Hazelwood Power Station closed earlier this year. Remove from the concept your belief of, you know, I like coal, I don't like coal, you better like power. If you don't like power, then you're going to find out what Australia was like to live in around about 1880. This week, the government was warned that keeping the lights on this summer could come at a higher cost to consumers, up to $50 million. But politicians fear paying an even higher price. Any government that allows the lights to go out is going to lose power. Although the government says it's not to blame. It's putting households under pressure. It is, a ca it is what happens when you have years of mistaken Labor energy policy. The Prime Minister may not be able to change the past, but the power is in his hands. Phoebe Bowden, Tenno Witness News.